What's going on, everybody? My name is Jack Jenkins, and welcome to my YouTube channel. It seems that uh, monthly subscription boxes were the biggest thing. From like 2013 to 2016, you had all these subscription boxes. You had BarkBox, uh, you had uh, Loot Crate. Um, I even got into it. I did a fashion store, which uh, no longer exists. Uh, but it seems like the monthly subscription box uh, fad is kind of gone out. So why not bring it back on this YouTube channel? That's right. I'm going to be going through uh, five, four or five. I wrote out five, but if I can't find a good one, I'll do four. Uh, subscription boxes to open and review to see if we get some good stuff or if we get some garbage. And depending on how well this video do, does, who knows? Maybe I can keep this as a monthly series. Try a new box each and every month. All right, so let's switch over to the view. Um, so these are a few things that I wanted to pick. I wanted to have one subscription box to be like for men. I don't really have a category. I just something manly, something that men, a man box. The other one is a clothing subscription box. And I mean, as you guys can see from these videos, I have like 10 shirts uh, that I constantly wear are the same ones. Uh, so it'd be nice to get some new clothing once it's over. Sorry, the C word's over. I have to bleep that out. Uh, the food subscription, uh, just because, you know, I need some yummy in this tummy. Uh, I want a hobby box, something that, you know, something I can do to create or start a new hobby. And then other, just something that catches my eye. And so for the first thing I'm going to do, best subscription boxes for men. I actually don't have any ideas or done research yet. Um, that's what I'm here for. I'm just going to scroll through and find one. Ooh, the best subscription boxes for men. 2020 Reader's Choice Awards. Sounds like the good one for me. So right here, number one, I was just reading this. The best spoke post for a guy who has everything. It says that it's a curated for men with discerning taste and deluxe inclinations. It's, and it's only $45 a month. They get to choose a themed box with unique items for their home, their lifestyle, behind the bar, and beyond. All right. Ooh, and you get 25% off your first box. Oh, so this looks cool. So you get to, uh, do you get to pick which one? So you get like stuff like, ooh, this looks pretty nice. You get like a switchback for like the tent. Ooh, an indoor fireplace. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and add this. This is going to be my first box for men because I'm a, a manly man right here. Hmm. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit the best spoke box so i'm scrolling through these a lot of these are like japanese or chinese only um this one caught my eye but it's uh 44 dollars per month no but uh, i scroll down this one's only 13 so this one's 25 i thought about this one it's a japan crate uh, but this one says it's for more around the world and it's uh 13 which uh speaks to my wallet so munch pack it's a take a trip around the world with Munchpack, sending global treats in a number of box options. This subscription introduces snacks to favorite from other countries. For an additional fee, you can customize your contents. So number one, the Adults and Crafts Kit. Um, adults and Crafts makes a glitch to... Huh. That looks nice. So you get little crafts. Um, ooh, these, so these are like a lot of stitches stickers palettes so a lot of these are kind of like specific looks like this is the only one that's kind of a little general at least from the four posts that i scrolled through some of these are pretty cool like oh you can make your clock you can make a heat embossing kit Ooh, cocoa hot cocoa candle kit hanging mirror shelf kit that looks nice the pegboard kit framed alcohol ink Ooh, the feathered wood. Ooh, I like the cups. Oh, they're sold out. Yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit up their their kits, the subscription. Was it the subscription you get to pay? So to recap, I just filled in the sheet. For the man subscription, I'm doing best post. For clothing, I'm doing the Menlo Club. For food and subscription, 
I'm doing the Munch Pack. Ooh, wait, 1995. 9.95. The site told me 13.95. Looks like I'm getting a deal. I'm doing the Culture Carton uh, for the other subscription, and for hobbies, I'm doing Adults and Crafts. And I kind of just switched it around there when I before I saved it, uh, just because it's the order I found them in. So yeah. It looks like I'm going to start ordering these. Let's see what I get. Just got done creating all the accounts and all the information for the subscription boxes series. Uh, so I decided to cut it back to four. Uh, just because, you know, I don't want to get over $200 for this stuff. Uh, this YouTube channel ain't making that much money. Or any money at all. Because no one watches me. But anyways, uh, so I decided to stick with the four called the clothing options. I switched that over to the Trendly Butler. Uh, it seems like there was an issue with uh, trying to enter in my address. Uh, I couldn't edit it. It told me to contact support. And I'm like, well, I'm just not going to buy your crap. <laughs> There's tons of other subscription boxes. I don't want to reach out to you. Next guy. Uh, so yeah, so I'm so I'm switched over to the trendy butler. Uh, so the recap, the man subscription, the best po post is forty seventy two. I got a discount for eleven dollars uh, for the clothing option trendy butler. That totaled out to sixty nine sixty, which is pretty expensive. But hopefully these clothes are worth it because I'm used to this Walmart five dollar stuff. So this better be worth it. Uh, for the food subscription munch pack, I decided to actually get the more expensive option with just 10 options uh, for just uh, an extra $10. I'm like, you might as well double your food, get more snacks to review, um, and that way I can also share with my girlfriend who might appear on camera. We'll see. Um, and then lastly, I did the hobbies, adults, and crafts. That came out to a flat, even $33. So in total, the cost for these four subscription boxes comes out to $163.73. And that's with the discount codes. Uh, without the discount codes, uh, the subscription price would be almost $200 per month. You can bet your sweet butt I'm going to be canceling all of them but one. If I like any of them. Let's see which ones I'm not going to cancel. After about two months from now, I finally got the package from Trendy Butler. It doesn't seem to come in a uh, package or anything like that. Oh no, it's just the clothing right outright. <laughs> it doesn't have like its own box or something. There you get the little Trendy Butler cinder bowl there. Let's see what you get. So, ooh, I like this. It has like a texture to it. So you got this. 2XL, a uh, selected note shirt, it's kind of like a blue regular shirt, and on the back it has like a little fluffy, as you can tell from the fact that I have like three shirts, um, I like the color blue. Next you get, ooh, nice, well I like this one too, this might be too big, it's another double XL. Um, seems pretty a lot bigger than the other one, but you know, other companies uh, tend to run bigger. So what is this? Published brand. Never heard of them. Last but least. Yeah. Ooh. Huh. Oh, it's like a sweater vest. It's like a vest here. So I, I think this would, no. This will go with the blue. I'll try it on. So how do you like it? I like the color. <laughs> it's so tight. <laughs> but it is kind of cool. It's different than your regular shirts. Like I, I like the, the rib on the back. This is an extra, extra large. And it's so tight on my bosoms. <laughs> oh God. Oh, that looks nice. Don't do that. Put your hands on Again, out. these people don't know what extra, extra large is. Can I fix your collar? I can't. It's maybe unbutton your unbutton it. You don't have to necessarily button it. I mean, but it looks nice though. I mean, the con. 
And it feels... Does it feel... How does it feel? It's really tight. Oh. I can't move my Oh, arms. even in your shoulder. Yeah. It's a good color on you. This, I feel, is too big, doesn't it? <laughs> You're like Goldilocks. <laughs> No, I mean, well, like, these are all three X, 2XLs. Yeah. That's the problem with clothing, is like... Well, that's the problem with buying clothes online when you can't try it on first. I know. That's why I, I think a lot of these online boxes kind of suck. It's just because everyone's Because if, so if those different. are supposedly the same size, how does one shirt fit differently than the other two? Yeah, exactly. And just here's the comparison of the two sizes of the shirts they gave me. And one's just huge. One's very tiny, and this one even, they even bigger than the side. So yeah. For the trendy butler, I do like the package. However, it's just the fact that uh, not only was it the package that was sent the less, least. For the trendy butler, I do like the quality of the clothing that I got. However, just the fact that I have this, you know, weird body that's, you know, fat but tall but not super tall. Um, just means that I have to go to, like, a clothing store itself to try it on. Um, and as you can see from the video, that 2XL doesn't really mean anything. Because you can go from giant to you know, extremely small. So it's just clothing, buying clothing online. It just isn't working for me. Um, so that is a big negative on the trendy butler. Also, the fact that uh, this took two weeks, two months, not two weeks, two months to get in uh, was a big hindrance just because the other packages came in and within like not a, so the best book post came in like a few days later uh, and the rest of it came in within like two weeks. Uh, trendy butler took two months and I had to actually reach out to uh, support just to be like, hey, is the package coming? And they were super nice about it. They're like, oh, yeah, it looks like it's stuck in uh, uh, the warehouse. I'll go ahead and uh, message the guy to go ahead and get your box out. So I was able to get it shipped out before the end of this video at the end of January. Um, but I ordered it in the beginning of December. So not even a week later, and I already got the first box here from a Best Spoke Post. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. I just opened it to take off the tape, and I'm excited. Uh, so I already know what I got. Uh, the site actually lets you pick. Um, so first it gen randomly generates an item for you. I got like a pocket knife, which I don't really need or use. So instead I picked this uh, internal uh, uh, indoor fire pits. Uh, so, and it has like a little image just cook s'mores. So I'm gonna test it out by cooking up some s'mores. All right, so now that we got this open, Oh, you get the little card that says what it is. It says it's the flame box. Uh, campfire vibes in your living room. Thanks to this clever little contraption, you can enjoy a campfire right in your home, even if you're short on space. So we left the safety instructions and reminders to experts. Make sure your long matches to light the flame once there's alcohol in the flicker. This will ensure your hands are safe. To, uh, remember, don't leave the flicker outdoors. Um, yada yada. So, let's take a look to see what's inside this box. Ooh, so you get the little flicker light, and you also get little uh, matches here. So this is a like, nice little match set. They're extra long, so that way you don't uh, burn yourself with the flicker. It's a little flicker fire, and I looked online on the website. So this thing originally goes for $99. Uh, with the best poke post, I got it for $40. Uh, $44. Uh, so it's a nice uh, little deal you get. Matches, you know, nothing new. They're just normal. So yeah, look at that thing. That thing looks pretty nice. Oh, so it's the special uh, best poke post edition. Flicker is a flame bigger than a candle, more portable fireplace. So this is just the uh, rules. Um, I'll go ahead and read this and but yeah so you get the little base here big old ceramic ah this thing's heavy here it is in action all you need is just some rubbing alcohol I'm um, not rubbing alcohol I saw uh, isophilic acid or alcohol you can just cook it and make s'mores pretty easy and then it doesn't come with anything to snuff it out with so I just plan on just snuffing it out with the cup. Mm -hmm. The 
delicious. The best spoke post package was great. I love the product that I got. I got the, you know, this fire pit. I have an indoor fire pit that I can now um, bring with me whenever I want to eat s'mores. Um, and that's also just a really cool item to have out. Uh, the And I also love that the site allows you to switch your package. If you don't like the item that they give you, just swap it out for another one. And they have like so many different choices. It's great. And it really covers any spectrum of like what manhood is. So you got knives, you got outdoor equipment, you got indoor equipment, you got like new hobby stuff, you got alcohol, you got cigars, you got smoking. There's just so much in that package. It's really for everyone. However, one big negative of this package is that you can't cancel online. I had to reach out to support directly in order to cancel. The main exception is if you live in California um, you can cancel online just that's due to the law there but they should really expand that for everyone in the United States you know it's the 21st century let us cancel online so that was a big ding against it what's going on everybody my name is Jack and the munch pack has arrived <laughs> and I'm here with my girlfriend uh, just because she wants to uh, <laughs> uh, eat the snacks with me See what we got for this month's challenge. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. That comes with featuring delicious snacks from United Kingdom. What is it? Japan. Oh, so United Mexico. Kingdom, Japan, Mexico, and more. Oh yeah. Let's just open it up. Let's see what's in there. Ooh. Ooh, Welsh potato crisps. Pizza roll us. I guess Ooh, there's a lot. Let's go through each one first, one by one. So we'll start off with the uh, pizza rolla Doritos. I don't think I've heard of those around here. No. Oh, they give us like a description. Oh. It's from Mexico. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know what did this. This is super nice. I'm gonna hold this up with the camera. Look at this. I'll have it at the same time. I don't know if I like that. That's weird. It does have like a taste of pizza. Hmm. Yeah, it tastes like the seasoning of pizza, like pizza yeah. seasoning. Yeah, it's kind of good. It's all right. Yeah. But yeah. It's definitely not something I've eaten. No, I don't think I've ever heard these seen these in the store. Things are good. Start off with the second one. The Kit Kat. Where is this from? It's from the United Kingdom. Ooh, it's, it's a chunky cookie dough Kit Kat. Hmm. I'm not sure what's in the inside. It definitely looks different than the Kit Kats here in the United States. Well, it's just like a regular Kit Kat in the inside. I like it, do you? Yeah. You want to put the last of it? Actually, no, I'm going to save it for later. It I don't want to eat all this. <laughs> and what's this one? It's the Welsh potato. Yeah. It's the uh, Welsh potato crisps. Uh, well, it doesn't say like what here. brand. Oh, Taylor's. Hmm. Oh, Taylor's cheese and onion? Is yeah. Is that it? Oh, okay. I, like, I it. like it. It's like the baked version of our potato chips. Yeah. Probably because in most countries they don't use all the oil that us Americans use. But it's good. Mmm. While you're reading that, this one is the limited edition winter mm. spice Twix. Mmm. Mm. Wow. The cinnamon is very strong. I'll say. <laughs> mm. It's cinnamon, nutmeg. Wow, oh, it's a yeah, it's like a gingerbread. Yeah, it's a gingerbread Twix. Yeah. So we got a lot of more stuff. So this one is a 
Zozuli. This is from Poland. Zozuli. The Happy Zello Zozuli. Mm. Not that anyone can read any of this. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. I like these. I wonder what happy is that means. Oh, it's sour. It's almost maybe like our gummy. Yeah, it's like a sour. Like a gummy bear. Like that has like the same texture as like those gummy whales. Oh yeah. Or gummy sharks. Hmm. Yeah. It's from Poland. Hmm. These are good. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? Hmm. I kind of like these, the Welsh chips. Yeah, I like the Welsh chips too. The Welsh chips, and I like these these pull, the th ones from yeah. Poland, the Zellos, the Zulis. Yeah. I like the Kit Kat. Yeah, but, but yeah, the potatoes were good. I want the candy bar, the Pop Rock candy bar. <laughs> Honestly, all this is pretty good except yeah. for the Sour Patch Kids. That's right. Really it's very sour. Maybe that's why they don't sell to America. They're like, the Americans are wimps. <laughs> the Munch Pack was awesome. You got all these different types of treats. There were so many treats that I got that I didn't even put in the video. Um, and if you wanted, you can add so many things to your box. You can add pop. You can add more treats. You can even expand it so you get like double instead of 10. You can get like 20. Uh, there's just so much in that box, and it's just so customizable. The website is great. The booklet they give you is awesome. It's colored. It has like information from everything as well as the country of origin. It's just phenomenal. So the Munch Pack really has it down. That's I highly recommend that. Get the close-up action of this. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's cool. It comes with like. I thought it was like paper mache until like, I guess it's just wrinkled in there. Okay, it's the instructions. What we got? Ooh, what is it? It's a board, rice and board. Ooh. Yeah, you make art rice and board. Interesting. <laughs> oh, I see. So like, when you come back to school and you need to paddle the freshmen. We got this for. So you get acrylic paints. You get the tape. You get your icing materials. You get the little board. That's cool. Did you use a cutting board? I no. think so. Maybe. I've never. I have to go downstairs and make this though. I can't do it up here on my desk. Uh, but I'll show the before and I'll show the after. I'll show the after when I'm done making it. What's going on, everybody? It's Jack here for, for doing the Arts, Adults, and Crafts book. So I got the board here. Let's get started. I think it's more pink.
So after about mm, 30 something minutes, finished dripping. Uh, I thought it would look like maybe like a spiral thing, uh, but it just poured a bunch of the colors on. Um, I guess it doesn't look bad for like what it's supposed to be. The adults and craft box was also great. I love the concept of having something to do, something manual that doesn't involve you staring at a screen uh, for once a month. Uh, the product I got, it wasn't, well, I wanted like the coffee stand. That would have been super cool. I really do enjoy my artboard. I have it put downstairs on the shelf uh, so people can walk in and be like, what is that? I'll be like, oh, I made that. They'll be like, why? <laughs> Why did you make this random? I'll be like, it's modern art. It's abstract. It represents the feelings of inadequacy that I have. Anyway, so yeah, the concept of the art and craft is great. The website, though, is a little confusing. They use like a third party uh, provider. Um, it would be nice if they kind of switched that over and maybe allowed you to choose your box. Um, maybe like have like three different options uh, minus the one that you did before. And you can be like, hey, do this one instead of this one. Or maybe you can choose like, hey, I'm a man. I want more, you know, like fire crafts or something like more, um, less paint, more like building. So that would be great. Um, but overall, I do love the package. I love the idea and it's executed pretty well. Now it's time to go through and rank the packages. And let me tell you that I liked all the packages. They were all great and ranking this is pretty hard. I would have to say that number four was pretty easy. It's the worst box out of the four of them. And that would be the trendy butler box uh the clothes really didn't fit me it was just way too big on me and the other ones were too small I, it's just the concept of having clothes online just doesn't work when you have this weird just weird body <laughs> um and also the fact that it came in the latest uh definitely pushed it towards the bottom the third best package would be the bespoke post when i say it like that the best poke bet spoke post i can't say that word that one package with the fire it was a great i love how you can customize it at the end for instance in the beginning i got like a switch knife i didn't really want it so i swapped that out for the fire and you can really choose from a ton of different items um, the one big hindrance and why it's put in third is that you do have to contact support in order to cancel if you live outside of California. I thought that's dumb. You know, just let people cancel online. I get it. You kind of want to, you know, upsell them. They were like, hey, wait, before you cancel, you can get 10% up. No, just cancel it. Come on. And then the second best, the runner up would be the adults and crafts. I love the product. I love the concept of getting like a new piece of art that you can just work with your hands. Um, I would say that it would be improved if you can like have like a category of box. For instance, I want to build something rather than paint something. Um, but at the end of the day, it's great. It gives you uh, so many different things. If you scroll through the site, there are so many concepts. There's so much you can do with it that I think that they're really going to you know, take off. I will say that the fact that it does use like a weird third party provider, that's a little confusing. That is a big hindrance towards it. But from what I can tell, it's kind of a newer company. Um, so they can really start improving and kind of become number one uh, by updating this. And of course, the number one is going to be the one left, which is the Munch Pack. It is by far the best web interface. Look at the back end here. You can do whatever. You can add new products. You can add soda. You can add, expand how many products you get. Um, overall, the theming of the package, the fact that it comes in like this customized box with this nice, beautiful booklet with all the country of origins and information on the product, it is just by far the most polished 
uh, of the subscription boxes, and it is absolutely excellent. I highly recommend Munch Pack. Unfortunately, I'm not going to continue my subscription just because uh, I'm a big boy. I need to lose weight. But uh, if I do lose the weight, you can definitely hit the, the guarantee that one of my rewards is going to be that Munch Pack just because it's excellent. I love the concept of getting food from all the world. It's I can't gush enough about it. I love this product. So that was the ranking of the products. Again, the worst would be Trendy Butler. Best would be Munch Pack. Um, if you guys want, I can go ahead and put like a more put like a, a product like a package you want to see me do in the description below. I definitely think that I'm going to be doing this again probably later on into the year. Uh, I started this last year in 2020. It will be cool to see, uh, hey, let's do some new ones and then do like another follow-up video with, say, all uh, eight of these packages and try to rank them. And maybe they can have this be a continuous series. Who knows? I need something other than uh, fitness game reviews to do. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for watching me ramble on for, like, what, 40 minutes? Um, have a great rest of your day. Oh, before you go, follow me on Twitter at TrueJackJank. I post about the videos that are coming out. That's it. <laughs> I need to start using that site more. Eventually, I'm going to put my website up. Um, and eventually, I'm going to put up the 30 Days website whenever I have the chance to do that. Have an amazing day. All you guys are amazing.